guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we're going to talk about Lillian Gish. Lillian Gish was an actress, director and screenwriter with a remarkably long career starting in 1912 and ending in 1987. Lillian Gish was an absolute pioneer when it came to silent film acting. She was one of the first silent film actors to really get a feeling for the difference between film acting and stage acting and she was the first one to ditch the kind of theatrical large movements and really start acting the way we know it nowadays with small subtle movements and facial expressions. So she actually developed and was the first to use all these different acting techniques that we still use nowadays. So she is widely believed to be the best silent film actress that there ever was. And she had an absolute love and passion for silent film. In fact, when sound film came around, she quit acting for movies and returned to the stage. And she did stage acting pretty much for the rest of her life with the occasional film here and there. But really her heart was with silent film. And she even started an organization later that dealt with preservation and kind of popularization of silent film. Lillian Gish lived to the respectable age of 99 years. And fun fact, she passed away exactly five days after I was born. So besides being a talented actress, she was also very, very beautiful. Her type of aesthetic is exactly what I love personally, so I, I personally just think she was very beautiful. She had that kind of classic beauty, and the time when her popularity was the biggest were the 10s and 20s of the previous century, and that is, as you may know, the beginning and the rise of flapper girls and the kind of independent woman, strong woman with short hair, um, lots of makeup. But we need to remember that those were actually a subculture and they weren't widely accepted into society, especially in the beginnings when they just started dressing the way they did and everything. So Lillian Gish was a nice link between the old world and the new world where people would go to the cinema and watch films on a large screen. Because she looked so traditional and classic, people were willing to accept this new modern medium to look at her. When you look at pictures of her, you can definitely see the influences of the early 20s with the way she wears her makeup and everything, but you can definitely see as well that she was a very kind of conservative type of beauty. So today I'm going to try to recreate her look. This is what it ended up looking like. So let's start with the makeup. Like I mentioned, there are some kind of early 20s influences here, but it's mostly very natural. And Lillian Gish said in an interview that she, in her personal life, only really wore powder and lipstick. So I'm not going to go too crazy, but I still looked at some of her kind of like promotional material where she did wear a little bit more makeup. So let's go for a nice balance here. I'm going to start with foundation and concealer. So I'm going to start with a nice layer of foundation all over my skin to even out my skin tone and then I'm going to apply a little bit of extra concealer underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles and then I'm going over with a generous coating of powder okay I'm going to start with the eyebrows and I'm going to kind of try and simulate the eyebrow shape that she has her eyebrows are shaped a little bit differently than mine they're very round they have kind of that start of that 20 shape going on so I'm going to kind of try and fill mine in to look a little bit more similar to that. So I'm just taking an eyeshadow color that's similar to my own eyebrow color and I'm using an angled brush to fill in my eyebrows and reshape them. So for the eyes, I've noticed in a lot of pictures that they really draw on her eye makeup in a way to make her eyes look even larger, even though they're already gigantic. So I'm going to imitate that shape by taking a dark brown eyeshadow on a small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply this along the outer half of my eyelash line on the top and on the bottom and I'm going to blend this out really nicely and when that is done I'm going to take an even smaller brush and take a tiny tiny little bit of black eyeshadow just the tiniest amount and apply this just right along my lash line as well to deepen this up just a little bit okay so moving on to the lips I'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer and just completely blank out my lips to start with. Lillian Gish has the tiniest, tiniest adorable little doll lips that you've ever seen. So I'm going to try and draw those onto my own lips. But for that, I have to first erase my lips because this is going to be a lot smaller. So when my lips are gone, I'm going to take this red lipstick and a tiny little lip brush. And I'm going to draw on her lip shape onto my own lips. So I'm going to draw a nice round cupid's bow and then draw kind of a petal shape on the bottom. And then I'm going to kind of draw this out into the corners with a very thin little line. 
And that is your Lily and Gish makeup done, so moving on to the hair. I read an interview somewhere with her where she said that um, she actually never cut her hair, she never dyed it, and that is why it looked so beautiful, and that she went to a special salon to have it washed, where they would wash it extra gently using sponges on the scalp and just drying it with towels and no hair dryers whatsoever. So I am going to try and recreate her kind of iconic hairstyle today with the sideways swept set of curls in the front and then the uh, ringlets going down. So first of all I'm going to spray my hair with some heat protectant because I'm going to curl everything and then I'm going to separate out the top half of my hair and clip it away for now. I'm going to start working on the bottom and start making the ringlets. So I'm going to take the smallest curling iron that I have, which is this one, and I'm going to take very small sections of my hair and wrap them around this and this will give me those beautiful tight ringlets that I'm looking for. So I'm going to do that all over the bottom half of my hair and when that is done, I'm going to start working on the top. So I'm going to use the same curling iron, but I'm going to take slightly larger sections of hair so the curls will be a little bit looser. When you look at pictures of Lily and Gish, I think her hair is layered and she has one layer on top that is kind of fluffy curls and then these ringlets underneath. But I'm going to try and simulate that look by making the top a lot fluffier than the bottom section. So it's okay to, for these top curls to be a little bit looser. So whenever I finish a curl, I'm going to pin it to my head to cool down and maintain its shape for now. And also to be able to distinguish it from the curls that are on the bottom. So when I've curled all of my hair, I'm going to allow this a couple of minutes to cool down completely. And when it has cooled down, I'm going to take down these curls one by one. Every time I take a curl down, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and brush this out right away to kind of fluff out the top. And I'm only going to brush about I take two thirds maybe from my scalp to the ends and leave a little spiral curl at the very end. I'm going to do that to all of the curls. So then all there's left to do is create this fringe. So I'm just going to kind of part my hair on the side, but I'm not going to make a tight parting. I'm just going to grab some hair so that I don't have a line on that side of my hair, like a parting line. So I'm going to grab all that hair and move it to the side very voluminously to create this kind of large voluminous side swept fringe thing. <laughs> and I'm going to pin it down on the back of my head. And there is your Lillian Gish look done. I want to thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Beauty Beacons episodes. And if you have any more requests for historical beauty icons that you would like me to cover in one of the Beauty Beacons episodes, don't forget to leave your requests down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!